Previously on Baron Plays the Forest. Continuing to navigate. Don't want to fall down these cliffs. What is this? Could this be a cave entrance? Aha! Perfect. Now my frames just totally went to crap. Guys, this is what we're looking for. Oh my gosh, I thought those were bats for a second. Ta-da! The rusty axe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We are back at Camp Bahamas. Let's set the mood. We are playing the forest. And we're trying to get out of our derp window. That did not seem to work. It looks like it's actually about to become nighttime. So let's try to sleep again. And uh, once it's light out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about berries. All right, it's gonna be daylight I believe dusk is like the weirdest time of day I can't even see my axe I can't even see my hand so here's tits prison where we have put up a wall around this camp what lighting we need it we need to light some torches The lighting effects are all kinds of crazy, and you know what's crazy about it is brightness is set to the max, so imagine how dark this game could be if it wasn't for that. But right before, like, the transition between day and night is often the darkest time. This effigy no longer... Alright, in the past it didn't light, so that was kind of cool that it did light. And, um, while these are lit... We'll light this fire too. Light up the place. Let's talk a bit. I've gotten a incredible amount of um, an incredible amount of comments on berries because I didn't know something, right? The oval leafed blueberries. Eating food, blah blah blah. See, there's nothing here. That says, I mean, <laughs> I, I might be missing it right now, and you guys would be like, Baron, you're an idiot. But um, there's nothing here that says the blueberries are blue and gray, and you only eat the blue ones. But we're going to be testing some berries real quick. All right, these are poison berries. And someone in the comments, actually a few people in the comments have said, if you hold block, let's look at our health and our armor in the lower right. If I eat these berries, and I hold block... I convulse, it actually aided my hunger, which was fascinating. Look at the hunger. Uh, the hunger, maybe, maybe it didn't go up. And that's cool how there's rabbit pelts now. So we're going to cook this burger. <laughs> this burger. Freudian slip. I, I could go for a burger right now. It's one of my favorite things to eat. Look at that. We got the rusty axe. We just got that. Our inventory is pretty legit right now. Um, Alright, so these are the poisonous twin berries, right? Now let's find some blueberries, which people said that the blueberries on this porch does look like twin berries to me. Poisonous twin berries. Alright, so we're going to eat that. Our food is satiated, so now we get to see what happens. Does this drop hunger? We're holding block. It affects our uh, stamina real quick. What was that light? I thought it may have been a head a headlamp by one of the others. All right, but I know there's berries pretty much everywhere. Twin berries, twin berries. But yeah, blueberries, they're gray, which means they're unripe. And then they're blue, meaning they're ripe. So thanks to you guys in the comments sections. Always keep me honest. See, these are gray blueberries, right? So I assume that when they get ripe, they'll turn blue. Those look great to me. But we can hold down block and eat them. See that? That that did a kick to our stamina. But when you hold down block, you're pretty much invincible, as someone pointed out. Um, so that was kind of cool. Learn something new thanks to you guys interacting with this whole series. Which is why this is one of my favorite series to make because of how much feedback I get. Please don't underestimate like um, how much you guys can do and like impact this game with simply by leaving a comment. Plus, you make my day. 
Oh my god, bunnies everywhere. But, yeah, you can only carry one bunny at a time, one lizard at a time, unfortunately. So it kind of... Oh, we got a little patrol over there. Alright, so what we got to do is we got to finish this bridge. It shouldn't take much longer. And then I thought about this, and someone, someone made a good suggestion. Once again, comment section for the win. This channel right here is extremely long. To build a bridge from one side to the other um, would take an incredible amount of time and an incredible amount of lumber. So all the energy required to chop down the trees, you know, engineer the bridge, and then put it together would take hours. And I'm not opposed to that. Um, but we're going to try building a raft. And we're also going to try placing a houseboat because I've been told it's glitched. But everyone's been saying, hey, myself included, I'd like to see what a houseboat looks like. So we're going to check it out, see if it's possible. And if it's not possible, um, we're going to go with a simple raft. And um, we're also going to go... And if the raft doesn't really s prove to be practical way of getting across that channel... We are going to use a bridge, but I think that may be a little ways away. Rafts would be much quicker. Has anyone seen Planet of the Apes, the new movie? Like, I've seen previews for it. I saw the first one. I really liked it, and I really kind of want to see it, but I want to know if you guys think it's pretty good. So what do you guys think of that Unturned series I've been doing? I've been having a lot of fun playing it. The fact that it's free means everyone should just check it out. Like, there's what's holding you back from checking out that game, right? It's free, and it sort of has elements of Daisy in it. Um, and by that, I mean like a rather complex... You know, it's like a survival. You, you go between towns. You have to raid for medicine, food, water tools and stuff but then it's kind of like minecraft in that it's got a rather um developed crafting system and you could say it's kind of like seven days to die in a way but i've been having a lot of fun playing it like the graphics are nothing to write home about but it has this charm to it you know kind of like minecraft did um for me but it's just got that rustic charm the characters look more like lego pieces um than any than actual people I got to play it with some friends the other day, um, Lord Minion, My Skirm, Davosity, and DLive, and we got a multiplayer series going. Is that a lizard climbing up? No, it's just some weird water effect on the outside of that tree. So it made it a lot more fun playing it with friends. And see, that's the whole thing. That's my whole thought on that game, is that it's so fun. The gameplay is fun especially with friends and think about it when you want to play with friends and like some of your friends are like oh hey man um i can't pay 20 50 60 whatever it is dollars for that game you know but i still have this game which we used to play like two years ago right but when it's free <laughs> no one has an excuse anymore so then you just know they either don't want to play it or whatever but uh you can get a lot of people playing it it's kind of, I've heard that they have dedicated servers for it. We, uh, we did it through Hamachi and some other stuff like that. Set up a dedicated server and used Hamachi to coordinate. Where are these logs? Chop down a tree. I feel like chopping down here. Okay, here we go. I see a shadow. They're very difficult to see. I see one. Should be another one at least, right? See rocks and sticks. We seem to be missing a lot. People are like, it's right there in front of you. This stuff always happens. And it's kind of funny. I can't tell you how many times I've read back on comments and just face palmed. Just like, how did I miss this stuff? It's just one of those things like, trust me, I watch plenty of YouTube videos. And you're always like, dude, use this maneuver. Or there's a guy right there. Or you just missed like some pretty good loot. It's kind of the the... The fun part about watching YouTube videos is, <laughs> in many cases, everyone's a noob at some point or another when you're watching them. Alright, so we've got to chop this tree down. We're not really getting... Sometimes when you're on a slant, it's difficult. 
to uh, get a good, you know, connection because you have to hit it in the right spot, blah, blah, blah. All right. But we're loving this Rusty Axe. Going on the quest to get the Rusty Axe was a very good decision. By the way, guys, this is Alpha version 0 0.03. So I know we all would love to see the Modern Axe. All right, keep it in our right, two logs rolling that way. We'd love to see the Modern Axe. It's just not in this Alpha patch from what I've heard from people in the comments, what I've read on the subreddit, and all of that stuff. So, we're going to be completing this bridge momentarily. And then after that, oh, yeah, those logs. See, look at that. See, I forget stuff all the time. Um, I have really bad ADHD. And I have hyperactivity, if you couldn't tell. But that's what makes... I think game so fun for me is both of those things that would some would consider disabilities are actually pretty cool. It makes things more fun, man. But log. All right, so we're what? Maybe 50 50% done, 50 to 60% done on this little mini bridge. I don't know what to build over here yet, whether it should be a fort or what. We built a cabin. Cabins kind of take a while um, as far as lumber is concerned. This, this game in some aspects could be lumberjack simulator. All right. Oh. All right. That's how we want to do it. Okay, I thought he was alive. I've had encounters where some of them just seem to be immune to fire. Now, this guy was alone. I don't often encounter the others when they're alone. I thought I may have built... Okay, I did build a fire. And we are going to cook ourselves a rabbit. Because our hunger is low. And our stamina is about 50%. We want to increase that in order to complete this bridge. It is a survival game. Now, my lips are extremely chapped. Because I was uh, fishing in the Bahamas. Like, kind of a nice little father-son trip, like, congratulations on graduating law school, stuff like that. And, uh, out in the sun a lot, you're gonna get burned. But, uh, my lips are peeling, much less my back. All kinds of stuff. I made a vlog on it, and I got some shark footage. You guys should check that out if you haven't already. I actually, like, got a lot of shark footage. We were down in the Bahamas, and there was a bad storm uh, right before we got there. And, you know, fishing and hunting, they're, the animals are greatly affected by the weather, all kinds of stuff like that. There just wasn't a whole lot of fish to spearfish or to fish for. A lot of fish, fish, fish going on in that conversation. But, um, oh, there's an other who looks like he's got a headlamp too, approaching the prison. They're on the outside of it up there. So, we may... Yeah, I'm not really sure of the patrol routes yet. All right, so here... I gotta remember at this stump, the last stump, right there, there's two logs. Watch, I'll forget it. That stuff happens all the time. All right, we're gonna have to run by. The thing is right now in this alpha patch, um, alpha patches are more for testing. We've made a Let's Play series out of it. Look at this. They can't get on bridges yet. And, oh my. Hello there, friend. Have I told you about my flare gun? How about you, sir? Have I told you about my flare gun? Welcome. Welcome to my island. And that is my flare gun. <laughs> I hope you stay. Or you die. Oh, look at that. There's a log just rolled. Two logs. Found two logs. Nice. Alright, so we're getting pretty close to being done with this bridge. And after that, we're going to build the raft and see if it works. And it's the Titanic other. Never let go, Rose. Never let go. Rose? Rose was a liar. Alright. Yeah, but so back to the alpha thing. This is kind of the things you test for in alpha, right? But this game is still incredibly fun. Now, I know a lot of my personal friends who've been watching my series. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those two logs. See? I, would, I almost forgot. I'm getting better, though. We've got to work on that whole memory thing, right? Um, I've been asking, you know, when will it be co-op? Because this game is going to be a lot of fun playing with friends. I have more fun playing with friends than I do playing solo, for obvious reasons. Um, but this is one of those games that I can make a fun series out of. 
And it's probably been one of the most successful series in my perspective, from my perspective as a creator of it, because I get, I'm getting feedback, I'm getting the comments, you know, people are giving likes and stuff, and that's kind of how I know, like, it's not all about views, right? Like, oh, this video got a lot of views. Well, this video got more comments, right? So to me, it's kind of like, people are liking this one more. You know, as silly as that may seem, like views don't always translate, I think, to like enjoyment, right? But it's like, how many videos, I watch YouTube videos, right? And dang, man, there's a priest over there. And for me, it's like, you know, I'll watch like five, six videos and then they'll, you know, I'll be like, oh, I like that one. And then, or if it's like a YouTuber I like, you know, you like all their videos. But, but every now, I don't always comment, but when it's something epic, oh, look at that, he's investigating. He's gonna, he's, I think he's gonna howl soon. They always do that. Oh, it does. I may have to kill him. Because he's all up on my turf. But what was I saying? Oh, he didn't howl. He's investigating the bridge. Submersible. Oh gosh, I thought that guy was alive for half a second. And that guy just popped in. Rendering issues. Hey, priest. He didn't see me? No, he doesn't. Because he's just kind of walking casually. And now he's going to freak out. Freak out! Oh, yeah, but like, you know, every now and then, there's a video like you have to comment on or you want to you want to feel a part of it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I mean, come on, man. Oh, <sighs> I was looking around. I was like, I think he disappeared. Holy sh tits. He's right there. Yeah, so that's that's one of the reasons I use tits. It's kind of like a sub in for curse words. How many how many pieces of lumber do we need as we kind of recompose ourselves? Looks like oh yeah, I can look in the bottom left. It says 17, so subtract five. I need 12 more because five of that is the vertical section, which we are not going to complete. Oh yeah, and there's some logs in here. I think I can't see any. Is that flashing or are those sticks? Did I get them? Short-term memory issues, guys. This. What the heck? War calls. Can you imagine being on an island? Imagine not having seen them, right? And you're like, kind of have your little campfire going. You just fashion yourself a spear. You got yourself a fish or a rabbit or something after probably chasing it for a while. Because let's be honest, you're domesticated. You're domesticated, urbanized creatures. You're not really the survivor type. But you managed to do it, you're feeling high and mighty. And then, it's pitch black. You're keeping warm by your campfire, eating a, probably a burnt rabbit. Because that's the first time you've ever cooked on just an open fire. And you hear that howling. You'd probably poop your pants, man. That would be some of the most eerie, chilling stuff you can think of. And I think that's why this, this game is so just kind of like immersive is you really kind of feel I mean aside from these glitchy and once it's in beta and then once it's completed it's gonna be so polished it's gonna be absurd and these things won't happen which kind of like make you laugh that creepy music there won't be these things distracting you you'll be like I need to build this bridge I need to build a fort because they're gonna attack me and then we're not even to that stage if you watch the trailers of the game they have those big spider creatures. After a while, the spiders come at you, right? And those things wreck walls. That's gonna be some freaky stuff. We have a lot to look forward to in this game. Oh my gosh. Plus like, it, it still kinda makes me feel like a twisted version of, of like the first season of Lost. I love those first two seasons of that show. That and Game of Thrones might be some of the best television ever, in my opinion. Oh, this one's going to roll. Hopefully it gets stopped. Yes, perfect. But I only saw three out of a potential four or five, so I don't know where the other one went. This guy needs to go. His little bobby pop, bobby, body popping up kind of is distracting and humorous. 
we need to get into, and I don't want an exploding, blah, 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 exploding body glitch. So I do know that we need some more food. I'm gonna cook that. I'm gonna pull out our rusty axe, our old trusty axe. Good. All right. That seems to work, and then brings back the atmosphere when they don't have derpy, <laughs> derpy others just chilling out after they're dead. Hey ya! Oh, that bird got lucky. You ever heard that phrase, like, trying to hit a butterfly with a battle axe? <laughs> it's a funny mental image. Alright, so we're cooked up. I thought I saw some lighting over there. It's just those lighter green patches. This game has me on edge all the time. Even though I know it's alpha, and, like, there's certain ways, you know, and with the flare gun, the others aren't... Where'd that other log go? It's gotta be up here, yeah? Look at the lighting effects, man. It's eerie. Eerie. Aha! It flew all the way up here. I knew. Because trees always drop four, sometimes five. At least four. Look at that. These are ripe berries. Alright, we're not holding block. Actually, we gotta drop these. See if this works. It works! Guys, Baron has just graduated from Berry Academy. Um... We, we figured out the berries, and honestly, if I didn't read the comments of my videos, I don't think I ever would have discovered that. That's kind of like why I like the comments so much, is I learn so much. Because I'm one of those people, like, I want to experience the game raw. Um, I don't, like, read tutorials and stuff. I will put all up maps, because I like to be able to navigate, because I get lost easy. For the same reason that I forget where logs are. Short-term memory issues. Dang, man. That lightning, huh? That was interesting. Alright, so after this bridge is completed, we're going to save. We're going to skip to daytime. We're going to craft a raft. Craft a raft. And see if it works getting us across that channel. If not, we'll have to build a bridge, but I don't think I'm going to build that next because we just built a bridge, quite frankly. I think I want to go on an adventure after that. Come on. I know gold is not your color. There's a song I'm obsessed with. I don't even think those are the lyrics. But it's a good song. I just threw an X. Alpha. Oh, Alpha, you drunk. You be drunk, son. Speaking of son, where the heck is Baronius? I don't really want the, the game to be spoiled by someone like, oh, I found the kid or whatever. I think that's kind of like the... I think, this is my theory, on this game, the end game is going to be you find all of the passengers, right? Because that's kind of an accomplishment thing right now. But think about it. You, um, you crash on this island. Everyone's dead, hanging up in caves. You find all of the passengers. And my theory is this should be enough. <laughs> For the bridge. Can't see if I have it, honestly, because this lighting is herp a derp. We have it. Alright, yeah. So bridges just make. This is why we want a bridge and a raft. Holy monkeys. We gotta we gotta save this. Get out of get out of nighttime. Look at how dark it is! I can't see it! So that means if I were to like edit this and upload it, all you'd see is straight up black because I have to, I can't even tell if I'm on the bridge, like aside from the movement. Oh my God. Yeah, I have to adjust the lighting when I edit videos. And sometimes I do it to where like, and then, so it's like a three part process. The game's dark, um, it'll be dark. Ha ha, blocked. Oh my god. These guys, man. You're in your cabin and then some freak dang darts past the window? Alright, man. I don't take kindly to your people snooping around my stuff. Lady, get lit. Leaning, get lit. MLG Pro no scope. Oh my god, there's another one. Did I just no scope in? I think I, I think I almost did. Look at my pillbox. 
Shoo, shoo. Oh, I blocked. I'm losing armor. So the pillbox idea, we're on fire. We are on fire. Aha, rearmored. Anyway, it's nighttime. We completed the bridge. Next episode, we are going to build the raft. See if that works. We're also going to build houseboats. Or we're going to attempt to build houseboats. See if that works because I've gotten a lot of feedback on wanting to see the houseboat. Anyway, guys, we completed the mini bridge. Um, once again, I thank you for your interaction with this series. It makes it more fun to produce because I feel like I'm interacting with other people. And, you know, I like I like the community aspect of it. Just like I play, I like to play games with other people. I find it more enjoyable. More interactive series are more enjoyable for me, and I hope they are for you. Let me know what you think. Anyway, my name is Baron. I thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, share, favorite this video, all that kind of stuff. As silly as it is, it really helps me out. Um, bunny. Oh, we can't light the bunny on fire. Still can't aim down. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Catch you all next time where we're going to build a raft and maybe a houseboat if it works. Or not. An epic adventure. Next time on Baron Plays the Forest. What? Oh my gosh, they're right there. I saw little blood spurts. Get off my lawn! <laughs> He's on fire. Or does he just have a torch? Sniper. Oh!